it's great when we find Porsche 996 is in such good condition. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to take you through this beautiful Porsche Carrera today. It's a 1998 model and it's done 111,000 kilometres since new. It's a Tiptronic and it drives beautifully. In fact, it's got a very good service history to it since it was brand new, which I'll show you during this video. It comes in this beautiful blue colour with dark blue leather interior. It's totally standard. All the wheels are in very good condition. The car drives beautifully. As I said, I drove it um, for about an hour last night just to give it a bit of a test drive myself and it was very good. It revs nicely, it's got a great sound to it. Uh, the other thing is the condition of the car, the interior and exterior are excellent. It's even got the factory Porsche mats. It does have an updated stereo with Bluetooth and it's a Tiptronic as you can see. For me personally, I actually prefer the way the Tiptronic 996 drives. I'm not sure why. But, uh, it's a very easy gearbox to use. It's also got what I think is called fuzzy logic, so it actually adapts to the way you drive. You know, just small things like if you if you put your foot down and on the accelerator and you take it off and you want it to hold in that gear. You don't want it to go and, and change up. If you take your foot off very quickly, say you take off, you're starting to rev up second gear, it revs up to three and a half or 4,000 RPM, and you're approaching a corner and you want to slow down, you don't want to use the brakes. You just take your foot off quickly, and it will actually hold in second gear, so you can go around the corner and then accelerate through second gear to third, fourth, fifth, etc. So it's a very good system. They're also incredibly reliable. So I'll open up the bonnet. This car has not had, been involved in any major accidents. As I said, it's totally original. A lot of people put updated headlights on it and tail lights. I love the originality of this car, having all the original equipment, other than the stereo, obviously. Other things to look for when you're looking at a 996, you should check that it's got this sticker here, if they've been involved in a major accident, they usually come off and don't come back. This is the original stereo, and it's got a cover as well. All the tools are present, which is great. We'll have a look at these books. So there's a number of books, I'm not going to go through all them, we did take some photos. That's it. So this is a maintenance book. And I know, what you, I know you're going to ask, what about the IMS bearing? Has it been done? Has it been repaired, etc.? Um, with a lot of these early 98, 99 models um, who did have the problem early on, they actually got a new engine fitted by Porsche. And this one has, the way you can tell is that it's got, see it's got engine number here. When they replaced the engine, they actually wrote it in here. So this actually had a, a new engine and it, it uh, would have been done, I'd say quite some time ago probably when the car was still under warranty. Later on, if uh, a lot of people just went to independent mechanics and things. But I haven't seen a 996 with a new engine fitted by Porsche um, with the issue again. But look at this history. Unbelievable. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 1,000 Ks, 60, 70, 70, 78, 80, 87, 93. Unbelievable. All the way through. It's just so nice to see a car looked after like this one. So if you look at the most recent servicing, which is always good, because sometimes they get serviced really well up to about five years ago and then <laughs> they don't get many services at all. You can see here it's been serviced at 109,000 kilometres this year. 106, 102, 99, 97. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. And... Uh, I actually want to say thank you to the previous owner for actually looking after your car properly.
it's very nice to see. And it really is a benefit to whoever decides to buy this car. Keep up with the service history. This car will look after you, despite what you may read online. The Porsche 996 is easily one of the most reliable models they've made. And we've seen them with two and 300,000 kilometres. And if you look online, there'll be some online with um, overseas with 250, 300,000 miles and people talk about them being capable of half a million kilometres pretty easily before major works, which I think is very impressive. The other good thing about these 996s, I mean, they're not worth as much as 993s, obviously, but I have noticed they've gone up a little bit in price over the past couple of years. And if you maintain this car, you look after it, you keep it in this condition, there's every chance it's going to be worth the same money in two or three years. And if it were to go down, it would only go down by a small amount. If you don't look after it, you lose your spare keys, you lose your logbook or you don't service it, then that's not going to be the case, naturally. The other good thing about this car, having 111,000 kilometres, you're a long, long way away from having 200,000 kilometres. If you bought one of these cars with 160,000 kilometres and you do five or 10,000 k's a year, you're going to get to 200,000 pretty quickly. But a car like this, you can drive it for two, three, four, five, six years and the chances are it's never going to have 200,000 kilometres. However, if it does, it's not a problem. The car will still be reliable from what we've seen just means that maybe the price will come down a little bit. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video. We're called the Old Timer Centre. Our location is uh, Marrickville. We're 20 minutes from the airport. And when we see a good Porsche 996, we buy it. In fact, we have another one at the back there as well, a cabriolet. Thanks again, and we look forward to hearing from you.